Hello ladies and gents, my name is Lance Corporal Ramsey from the Royal Engineers. Today I'll be taking you through this uh, presentation talking about my own experiences uh, within the engineers and within the, my tread. So back about myself then, I've been in the army a total of six years, I uh, joined when I was about 24. Um, I joined for the reasons being that I wanted to better myself, uh, gain a, a more kind of diverse skill set and get back more more life experience, um, you know, doing various things throughout my job. But I would say a couple of highlights in my career is um, two can kind of stand out the most. I deployed out on Op Cabaret 2 out in Estonia, um, going between Estonia and Latvia actually. I was out there for about eight months. Uh, it was a multinational exercise working with um, French, Foreign Legion, Estonians, um, bit of Danish as well. I uh, spent my time out there going through some winter survival training uh, which was a really good experience. I learned how to operate in sub-zero temperatures. Uh, my second kind of best experience I would say is uh, kind of to the tail end of last year, beginning of this year. I was out on Op Trenton in the South Sudan. Uh, I was part of the last uh, British contingent of the, the UN task force that was out there. It was our job to to, f to finish off the infrastructure that was being put in place. So I'd actually uh, played a part in construction, constructing a level two hospital. Uh, that in itself, knowing that I took part in that and helping to, to deliver such an asset, such a critical um, life-saving asset, especially out there. Uh, I feel a lot of pride from, from doing that. Yep, so why did I join the engineers? Uh, oh, as I said, I knew I wanted to join the, the army when I was about 24. Um, at the, probably much the same as most of you. You know, you're looking at the, the army as a whole. You've got to look for what, what suits you, what's right for you. And at the time, um, when I was doing my research, the Royal Engineers really spoke to me. Um, for that being is because you, we cover three roles of which is actually quite unique. Um, not not any other. There's no other regiment that kind of does that kind of operates like that. So the three roles then. Um, so soldier first. Uh, you learn all your skills and drills, the basic training, and still touch on that when you go on after basic training. You go into do your combat, combat engineering. Secondly, you're a combat engineer. And that involves. Uh, it focuses on three uh, topics, which is. M m uh, survivability, mobility, and counter mobility. Um, so within those topics, you you have um, sub -top topics. For example, within survivability, you learn about uh, water purification. So taking water from any pot, any um, state, and turning it into the end product, which is drinkable water. Also looking at um, the mobility side of it construction bridges, uh, non-equipment bridges, all that sort of stuff, and then counter mobility, looking at you know how to use the environment to, to cause obstructions uh, to, to the enemy, and how to kind of build uh, these uh, these obstructions as well. So that's really good. Uh, also, you'll, you'll touch on a lot of like artisan stuff as well, so you'll learn like a basic um, like a foundation knowledge of uh, how to, you know, help electricians, bricklayers, all that sort of stuff. You'll learn like a, a core set of skills that allows you to be able to aid them in some way. So, kind of daily life within my trade, what can you expect? Um, initially, you, when you uh, go to go to regiment, and you, you know, you complete all your training, you'll be expected to carry out various uh, details, uh, kind of tying in with the more logistics side of it, transporting kit and equipment um, to and from different barracks and then also out in exercise you'll be uh, expected to, to deliver resources um, to other contingents um, whilst on exercise. The more time that you're in, obviously your experience goes up, uh, you're able to access different qualifications and courses and then eventually specialise. So for the likes of myself, I specialise in the crane operator mobile crane operator and uh, supervisor. So 
going back to what I'd said before, um, you know, a lot of the times when being an engineer, you're going out and doing these construction uh, construction tours. That's heavily what we're involved in. You know, it's it's skills like that, qualifications like that, that make really increase your employability within the within the army, and also better serve you when you eventually step down from the forces and go into uh, back into civilian role. You'll have all these qualifications to to serve you. Um, you know, you're talking at the end of the day, you're talking thousands of pounds uh, of money that's been spent on you, developing you and, and getting um, civilian recognised qualifications that allow you to, to carry out these jobs. Yeah, so <clears throat> with the uh, AT as well, I've found that uh, during my time in, I've had quite a few opportunities to go into AT from um, times I've spent out in the Falklands, I've done abseiling off of uh, the, the various mountain sites. Uh, I've also done a bit of fishing, uh, a bit of carp fishing for the uh, the core team, Royal Engineers core team. I've been kayaking, clay pigeon shooting, but but that's not that's not limited. There's a whole breadth of AT that's available out there. Uh, so I would say that the engineers definitely love love a bit of sport. They love to do some AT, uh, some really good opportunities there to to be had. Yeah. So on the whole then, I would say, you know, yes, every regiment and every job role within the, the army as a whole, everyone's just as important as the next. But for me, I would say that the engineers has really changed my life, uh, the ability to, to get those qualifications and that life experience. It's turned my life around and I, I'm truly thankful for that. And I love, uh, I love my core. So. Yep, that's great. Thanks very much for your time and um, I wish you the very best in your career.